Hello and welcome back to Sumerians. In our last episode, we continued the campaign by finishing the uh, Uruk province here. And uh, it took a little bit longer than I expected. Um, I think that's partially because maybe I didn't ha I could have reassigned some workers, uh, stripped down some industries and beefed up some others temporarily to get things done a little bit faster. I just don't really like the micromanagement of shifting workers around. I want to assign them and kind of leave them and let them do the work that's in the building, even if it takes a little bit longer. Uh, it's just, I don't know. It's, it's one of my things, I guess. But we finished it. It took a couple of episodes, and then uh, it gives us the ability to move on to Uma, which is now in the third, third, third millennium BC, and it focuses on the royal family. A bunch of free buildings here and 11 techs for free. Let's go ahead and start. That helps too. Getting stuff for free, especially uh, techs for free, helps because you don't have to spend the time researching them. Uh, you can skip ahead of them. So, of course, initial building is the initial thing we need to start with. Uh, this is just a straight piece of river. So we can pick a spot and go with it. I think I'm going to rotate, though, here and do it this way just because, well, I don't know. It seems right to me. And let's put this, again, maybe someplace in uh, in here. Uh, let's see. Is that? Is that? I think that's it. Uh, it'll be fine if not. Uh, let's put it yeah, right here near the edge, and then that way we can take care of things. Uh, it may not be also have rotated this all the way. See if it can come over to the edge of the map and find out if we've got this square to the map or not. Do not. That is. Okay. So I just didn't have the map rotated right. Uh, let's see. Center is right around in here someplace. Then not to be perfect, just kind of getting a feeling for it. There, and then we'll pause, and we can draw some of our major roads here, just to establish our road grid a little bit, like we have been doing. I don't think, though, that I've got the map so rotated correctly, so I'm going a little crooked here. Something like that. Although I don't know that that's still straight, but we'll get it figured out as part of the thing here. Let's set these both so that we can set those, uh, get those things going correctly. And let's do housing first, and I think I will do housing. Oh yeah, that's definitely not straight, that road. That's okay, we'll fix it later. Uh, let's go, well, now let's do the uh, cross street first here. And I think I want to do a little bit better job of um, what's walled off and what's not uh, this time. So there will only be a little bit of the the uh, the fertile area inside the city walls. And it'll be mostly just the houses and the uh, citizen uh, shops. It's still not very straight, Wally. But that is definitely the... Um, yeah. Okay. Is that because I had this still tilted a little bit wrong? Yeah, we'll do it like this. That'll be fine. And then let's just do a big block of 16 there. And then the citizen shops as well. Uh, not the fishing, the shops, workshops. There we are. And then maybe right about there will be a good place. Let's just do eight of those. Some of the marketplaces. Oh, yeah, that was way off. Holy crap. Uh, let's do just eight of them for now, maybe. Like that. I can try to straighten that out a little bit. It doesn't horribly matter because it they'll they'll dig their own paths anyways, but this way we can get things going. Unpause, and we can do some citizen farming here too. And I think that'll be the extent of what I do inside the city limits is maybe just like three of these. Actually start it here then. Yeah, that'll be good. Six of those there. I need to put the transporters and things in here yet, too. Uh, builders. That's what I was thinking of this for. Does that seem not right? No, I guess it is. No, it's not. I'm curious. I don't know how that got... That, that one was specifically off the rotation by by one tick. Uh, and then farmers, not yet, transporters first. 
you'll be the center of town transporters and then i think we'll get the wall going basically right away and i'll, I'll just stage it out right now and then we can uh we can do it a little bit more um a little bit more a little bit later as we build things let's pull this away just a little bit so we can make sure we get uh let's see we need to go 12 units which is right there that's actually kind of perfect uh, in terms of centering on that road let's go i think that's a good spot right there although i didn't measure this one it's not as good not as perfect but that's okay. I think right there is the place. I'm not going to close it off yet, though. I'm going to go this way about here. And then again, go out this way a bit to there. I think that's the same spot I went to. It is. Look at that. That'll be a little bit better. Uh, and then we can put that gate in down here. Just like that. Speed up just a little bit. The river's crooked, that's why. What? Rivers aren't straight? It's crazy talk. Okay, so that'll work well enough at least. Um, and then we can do some farming out here outside the walls. Uh, start the farming building first. Uh, right in here and then do this out here just to oh, we were talking at one some point about maybe smaller farms are better because as they harvest then they'll be able to to you know to to start seeding some of the ones as they're harvesting rather than waiting on especially like transport to deal with it. So maybe we do just some 5x10s instead of doing a big 10x10 10 10, uh, there. And then we can do this one as a 3x... Uh, better not do that far because we're going to want to do some other things here. Let's wait on that because we're going to want to do fishing and stuff in here. And perhaps I should have already done that. Uh, we can make it work. Uh, let's do... Wherever the fish market is. Did I miss it? Maybe I don't have it yet. I don't... Oh, here it is. That's going to take mud. We don't have mud yet, but that's okay. I can go right there. And then we can do fishing. Like that. I think those I will let rotate a little bit. Uh, not that way. This way. Not that far either. That looks better. Okay, that's square. Everybody's moving in. We need our temple built. Yeah, we need to get our temple built. Let's build that first one. Since it's free, we can have it now. And let's put it right in here. And that'll take care of that. Uh, then we need water access, which we'll get in a little bit. Yeah, I really botched that road. Wow. Wow. Should be like up there. Yeah, that'll do. The rest of it will get covered up by farms or things. Uh, whatever we decide to put in there. So I'm not that worried about it. Or I can also use the uh, no road race tool here. To do this as well. Something like that. And same thing up here. Although I'm not so sure I didn't botch it back again, but it'll be fine. And that might have should have, might should have been over a little bit further, but I guess it'll be okay. That other gate over here now, where's that gonna need to go? Maybe right there is fine. 
That actually is fine. If I look where the center of that road is, it kind of goes almost evenly between the center of those two building plots. So that's actually a really good spot. And even this one um, isn't bad right there either. That's pretty good. So that's, that's fine. That's fine. I think it's just this road is crooked too. Maybe I can straighten that out a little. Okay, uh, let's get everybody in here. Um, yeah, water is going to be the big issue now. Markets, you have plenty of markets, you're fine. Uh, you just need to build them. Let's go up to speed three also. And I think we're going to actually have a problem with food because some idiot built a bunch of stuff before he should have. And we might not harvest in time. Maybe we'll be okay. No, it's not going to get there. Nope, we're going to run out. That's okay. We'll be off by just a little bit, I think. Oh, no, we're actually going to make it if they get some of this turned in in time. Come on down. Get it delivered. Oh, we just barely missed it. Okay. Well, that was close. Let's do uh, a donkey farm. Um, wait, can we do that yet? It wasn't there. It was the animal. I can't I remember where these things are. Oh, it's over here. Right. That's why I can't remember, because they're not in the spot I was thinking they were in. Let's do a donkey uh, ranch. I suppose. Right there. Just one. Thank you. And we're going to have to get clay going so we can get bricks going. So let's just go ahead and do that. I'm going to do that over here. Because I think I'm going to put in that industry over here. Because I think that needs to be inside the town as well. I think. Be wrong. Let's do... Actually, let's do the space for the brick first. Right there. And then the clay next to it. Although I should have measured that against that. It's fine. This one though I will though. It's fine if that's set back just a little bit. There we go. And then we can start getting walls built and things too. How are we at with population here? A few jobs still available. Uh, all the houses are here and at least built, whether they're occupied fully or not. Um, and religious influence is already an issue. Although, like I said, we could fix that uh, by having by putting up the other the other temple already, since it's free. Uh, we haven't really been paying attention to this initial building. Two hundred citizens, thousand grain produced, and then we got to get our houses to level three, which means we actually need to have, I think. Uh, brick walls in order to get that far. So we might be re upgrading these walls sooner rather than later. Maybe we should have just done upgrades? I guess we still could. Oh, I have to um, research it? Which means I need to put up the research buildings. Yep. Let's do that. Uh... That was here. I should put those maybe right here. I'm off again. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, they're working on the walls first. Hmm. That's alright. Let's get this other temple built, though. Put it right here across from the other one. Hmm? Oh, I have to have the walls finished first before I can build that temple. Right. Okay. Uh, maybe we can put more workers in here then. Increase that temple coverage. Water access. I'm going to have to put up some wells really quickly here. How's the uh, job? Yeah, we still need more people. Let's go ahead and put up some more housing. How's the job search going? It's not. Ooh, that was perfect without trying. There we go. Fill those houses in. They're complaining about farms, which I guess we could do that too. The problem is... Uh, farms or fishing. The problem is we don't have the people to work the stuff. And I'm going to want to put a canal through out here someplace. Although I don't need it as close to the walls I had been doing. I just needed to fertilize the land up against the wall well enough. Uh, I wish I knew what that distance was supposed to be for the canals, but uh, we should be able to just do you know, maybe not the, break, the most perfect spot, but we should be able to do something like this and then just go and do the same on the other side. Just kind of pick a spot and go with it. Go three canals deep for right now. Three three max length canals. I should probably, since we're doing all the wall building, I should probably go ahead and let them beef up the, the builders here. Although, again, jobs. If we can entice people to come in with butter water access, we'll be in a good spot. But until we can get them in here, it's a bit tough. Are the um, oh donkeys, donkeys? There we go. And we probably need to plant some more fields. These kind. Sometimes I think it's better to be top down when you're building things if you want to align it properly. There. Although it wasn't perfect, but it's fine. I missed. You only can really tell when you're clicked on it, otherwise, it blends in nicely. I wish you could give certain building jobs higher priority. That would be kind of handy. Also, that's kind of interesting that it spins the map view to show the building when you click the toggle arrow. I think we can hide this since we have so much to go till we get to the housing level three anyway. You know what? Let's do a uh, wall, this, that. Uh, well, I didn't want to do that. I don't want to take down a 
Now, what I want to take down is that, like this. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Take down that last segment because I'm gonna replace it with brick anyway. So let's just let's just get the ones done that we kind of need for this. Actually, we could even do one more. I think. I don't want to mess with the ones that have the gates in them, but I think we can do the rest of them like that. Just to kind of save ourselves some effort, because we'll have to rebuild them right away anyway. Although, what else do I have free to build here? That's what I should have done. That was stupid, Wally. I have two free wells. Delete that one. I put the other one out. Behind the, behind the church there, yep. Let's use the freebies. Duh. There, please. And... There, please. And I should have used those two buildings, too. Wow. There we go. Let's do that. And then we can just queue up a bunch of research. All these are done. First two columns all done. Ooh, we should we could do cart transports. I don't know what it takes to make the carts, but we could do that. Uh, let's add a bunch of these and then sure do that. Let's do the whole column in order, just to keep things moving. Uh, we have a bunch of workers doing research. Uh, we're getting 20,000 science, uh, no, uh, 10 science points per day. So it's gonna take us years to make this stuff, but it's okay. These walls are finishing up. Why do those look different? Oh, that one's not done, that's why. Okay. So building a segment of brick wall, just because I want to see if I built that segment. Oh, it's not going to tell me without clicking it. All right, well, never mind. We'll test it later. We'll test it later. These are high walls. We unlocked that in the last town, but we didn't actually build them. We could try that this time. What do I have here? Uh, the uh, doctor and the defense. What's that? Oh, that's the temple, other temple thingy. And then builders, right? Builders. Oh, I should do that then. Actually, let, let's do that. Let's put one of those out here. Right up against the wall. Those are the free builders. I forgot about. We had those. And we'll save the other one for later. But it's got, it comes with 200 bricks and 100 mud. So that'll be good to have. Oh, housing, housing's coming in again. We got people coming in. I want to dezone this one because I want to put in a um, one of these free things, these things for free, right in here, and I'll put another well in next to that or in that neighborhood there, um, the the guard post. That way we can get some uh, security. I heard digging the canals now, or the, the, yeah, canals. Wow, they didn't get very much seeded at all. These have to be upgraded. A couple homeless people already? Oof. Religious influence is suffering again already. And demand is a problem. It's because of housing. We have homeless people. And that means that nobody's coming again. 
We still have 100 jobs available. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, housing demand. I'm going to wait. Going to wait. If I do the wall upgrade painter now, what happens? Hmm, interesting. I don't think it actually upgrades them if, unless they're finished, or at least started. These still say mud wall. These are switched over to brick now. Interesting. Look at the green. Okay, so I was a little bit under on the range, but that's okay. I'd rather have it overlap a little bit than have a little bit of not good there. For my own sanity. Uh oh, food's gonna be a problem again. Although we're harvesting next year, next month, so we might be okay. How are the donkeys doing? Oh, we're good there. And look at the donkey clicking all that up. Okay, well, I spent too much again. What are you gonna do? Confirm that so we can get it covered as much as possible. Get some more transporters in here and maybe work on the transport carts when we get those finished. don't get very much seated. And that's because of transport. So what I need to do is... Oh, that doesn't actually even have enough range there. Transport's fine, but the farmers can't actually even seed this. Uh, we need to put up another farm here then. Out here. I'll put it under the door there, though. Right under the gate. Because we'll put a bridge in right here, and we'll actually farm out here, too. So, putting it near the gate, I think, is a good idea. I don't know. We can toggle this gate. Uh, not yet. When it's done, we can toggle this gate. I'd like to put another transport in. Transport is in out here, but not yet. Uh, why don't we put the other builder in, though? Out here, outside the walls. That'll also give us the extra mud and bricks to get us started. Hopefully that's enough. That was enough food, because that'll be a problem if not. All right, everything's seated fully. Yeah, those extra few extra workers helped, so we need to do a little bit more farm building then, because we know we have the capacity for it.
Maybe I should just do another transporters anyway. Probably. Although we still have issues with workers, so maybe that's not the greatest idea. I'm gonna build some more houses, but I'm a little bit, I don't know, nervous about doing so right now. Because I don't want a bunch of people coming in until, well, we're harvesting right now. I think it's okay. Uh, I do, though, want to um, realign some of these uh, housing a little bit. That was four. Let's do three out. And then do this here. And then I want to delete this one, this one, and that one. But I also want to delete a few here in the middle. Let's delete four of them in the middle. Uh, which means that the people just got booted out of their houses. But then I can put the doctor in, and I can put another one of these security thingies in also. Including maybe another well again. Whenever that gets built. Walls are nearly upgraded though. That's good. Although I didn't check to see how expensive it was going to be to do that upgrade. Uh, oh, 22. 20 or 22 on the wall segments, it looks like. Yeah, these didn't get seated properly. They need their own dedicated transporters. Let's just do it. We need a... Farming only transporter here. Just like that. Grab some donkeys and get to work. Alright, let's get this seeded, though. Because you don't have much time left to seed. Oh, good, they're seeding already. We'll get most of it done this year. That one we got missed, mostly, but... Yeah. So now it's just coming down to religious influence, so I don't really want to expand too much more until we get the walls done. And those temples... No, that's still not temples, Wally. Temples, there we are. These mud walls are better. Yeah, okay. I guess that would be the advantage of building the mud walls first, and I can get that small temple put up. But that's okay. Still showing I have two more of these left? Didn't I start with two? Or did I start with four? I don't know. I don't know why you all don't have any donkeys. 
Oh. That's why. Immediately got the two that we had available. Good. That'll help. Yeah, let's get this stuff seated. It does possibly seem to be helping with the uh, the seating. Although I probably need to step that up too. All right, I think they're just about done. Let's get this one to finish. Uh, we need to upgrade these though. Like that and like this, and then just do that. Put a couple more workers in that job, even though we have plenty of jobs that they can't do. Uh, somewhere, there's plenty of jobs free. So, not clear where those are, but there's plenty free. Let's go ahead and line those other walls then, too. Um, actually, that's kind of perfect right... right there. I like that spot. There, and then there. We can put a gate right there. And that's pretty good, too. We'll need some builders out in these areas. So we'll just go ahead and use some of those. Uh, one of them can go right in here. That'll give us a few more bricks to build with. A couple hundred more. So these segments are, yeah, they're costing a little bit more. They're costing 30. So you do save a little bit on, on the cost of building on a, on a brick cost by building the mud walls first. I don't know that it's worth it. Probably is. But either way. I really should step those workers up, but there's so many empty jobs right now that I don't really feel comfortable doing so. Until I either get the next temple or I have 60 pottery, um, I can't really do anything with that either. If I did the pottery, then I would take 10 workers by default plus three, probably, by default. So it cost me more workers to get it started. I suppose I could do that. I just don't know that I want to. For 40% boost? Mm. The housing quality needs to get dealt with anyways. So let's just let them work on these brick walls and things and get that done. Um, you should be able to transport, yes, plenty out. But I think this is smaller. This, this wall area is smaller than the uh, last city we did. And so I think that'll be useful as well because uh, we can always add more but this gets it, lets us close it in a little bit sooner. All 
Although I probably should have just stuck with the mud walls. It might have been better in the long run. Yeah, they didn't get much planted this time at all. Ouch. Well, luckily though, all my builders can reach most of the walls that are left, like between at least two or two of them, if not three of them can reach every wall segment. So that means that we'll have plenty of workers to, to work on walls, uh, which means that I probably don't need to have 10 of them in these. Uh, five should probably be fine, considering the stopgap right now is actually probably the brick supply, not the worker supply. Yeah. So let's, um, if anything, I should put another brick yard up. Maybe that's the better thing to do. And max it out. And spend those those five workers we had assigned to this, uh, no, this, as four workers here instead. Uh, better use of their time. I think. We'll see. It's really hard to click on those towers, at least from the side there. Maybe a little bit easier from the top, yeah, a little bit. But they still need more, more bricks. More bricks, more bricks. Maybe I shouldn't have these with priority. Because I think maybe they're reserving jobs and it takes them a while to get over here. And in fact, maybe this should even be turned off. Yeah, let's just turn it off. Um, because they're probably reserving jobs on the collection and they're off doing other jobs. So by having these dedicated, even if we step this up to 10, um, or 20 rather, uh, and even if we stepped this down, maybe it's like 15. Can you you give some of your donkeys to them? Is that how that works? Or getting rid of them somehow? They might be eating them. No, I think they gave them away. Okay, um, but I think that might work out better because then these folks uh, will be able to just dedicate themselves to harvests, the harvest, whereas. So where are they going? Are oh, they going to haul grain from the inventory here into there? Yeah. That would have been something you should have done earlier. Thank you. I get to work. That wasn't something you should have done at that moment. But they can pick up, pick up and carry a lot more squares, I think. Let's get some of this seeded. Okay, it's not gonna be too bad. Next year might be better because they'll have transported all the grain out and dumped it all into here and it'll be at uh, capacity or be ready to, to be ready to do that to do the harvest rather than be ready to transport the grain that's a problem that was a problem i should say Y'all just chilling now. Is that full? Oh, that's... It's over full. I could assign a couple more workers here. Maybe that's what I should do. Because then it'll go up to 1,600. And they'll be able to dump some more of this. Yep. Into there. And then by the time the harvest comes... Actually, they're, they're in the middle of doing the thing again. Dang it. <laughs> My fault. 
Uh, by the time the harvest comes, they would be ready to work, but they're not because they're hauling grain now because I opened up more room. There's a few, though. That was stupid. And I think they are, like, registering the jobs. I think that's what the issue is. It would be nice if you could say, hey, farmers, don't harvest, just... Or don't collect, just just plant and reap. Don't uh, don't collect the harvest, just plant it and reap it. Let the let the transporters do the collecting. See, these two are registered out, and somebody else could have gotten it and been done already. But yeah, yeah. Although we're still going to get most of this seeded, so it's a little bit better this year. That one hasn't started. Okay, there it goes. Okay, there it goes. Yeah, if they seed and, and reaped and let the donkeys do the hauling, maybe that would be better. We'll see. We'll see how it goes in the in the long run. Uh, how's the wall going? It's still going. It's going to be a little bit more time. And so I think maybe we should uh, end this episode here. And when we come back in the next one, the wall will be ready. And then we can... Uh, Continue expanding. Finally, we'll be able to put up the other temple, which means we'll get more people in. Uh, housing quality will jump up, which I should have just done with mud walls. Um, it's kind of a learning experience, a little bit of practice kind of thing going on uh, to kind of figure out exactly how this might work out better. Uh, but so you got to kind of have to try and experiment and, and, and do a few things like that uh, to get to figure out exactly what you uh, want to do. Uh, we could also do a cart transport as well. I don't know how the carts work, so we'll, we'll try that out next time and see how that works. But uh, for now, we'll leave this here. We'll, we'll get those walls built and it'll be a new day for the, for the, uh, for the building, for the construction, for the, for the processing of all this stuff. So thank you all for joining me and I will see you all next time. Bye for now.